Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with Microsoft Teams meeting links, specifically for the purpose of standardizing the meet link and making sure that you use the same one across your classes. So if you want to use the same link for more than one class or just to have a standard meet link for a particular class for the six weeks or the whole semester, if you want, first you have to set up a Microsoft Teams meeting. So notice I've already done that and I have Ms. Chio here as the recipient. So, or participant, I should say. So the meeting set up and of course at the bottom and you have to add the participant, the meeting link has been set up and it's good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of this. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy it, okay? We're gonna close this because I had already saved and created this meeting, so it's good to go. Now. Let's say I want to set up a class for next week, maybe like next Tuesday. So I'll move the arrow and we're going to come down here to Tuesday. Let's say I want to set it up for 12 o'clock. So I'll double click here and we'll set up our meeting. So class meeting ABC. Okay, so um, everything's good here. We have to still add our recipients. So uh, we could do Miss Chio again. Now, after saving it also, we can always delete her because once it's ready, it's ready. I'm going to come down here at the bottom. Actually, I'm not going to do it yet. So what I'm going to do is I've added the recipient. I've created the class. I'm going to click on send. Okay, It's done. I'm going to come back into the class to edit it. And notice that a meeting link has been created, but we don't want this one. We want to keep the other one. So we're just going to highlight and delete or backspace. And then we're going to paste. We're pasting the other meet link that we used from the previous class. And it's done. All we need to do is click on send updates. And the meeting has been set up. And that's pretty much how it goes. So let's just let's do it one more time just for the sake of practice. Um, so we have the meet link, right? And let's say we want to use this one again. I mean, I've already highlighted and copied, but I'll do it again just for the sake of practice. I'm going to highlight and right click and copy. I'm going to close this one. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I didn't really make any changes, but um, I'm going to go ahead and double click over here because I want to have my next class on Thursday. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to give it a title, class meeting a sample. I'm going to add Ms. Chio. And I'm going to send. The class is set, but it doesn't have the right link. It has a link, but not the one that we want. We want to use the other one that we had. So we're going to click on it. We're going to get rid of the one that's here. Remember, we copied the other one. And we're just going to simply right click and paste. And that's the one that we want. We have to click on send update for it to save. And it does. And that's it. So that's how you standardize your meet link across multiple classes. So if you have a first period class and you want to use the same link for that first period, Monday through Friday, that's how you do it. Okay. Of course, if you ever need to change the meet link for whatever reason, just set up a new meeting and with a new link and start using that link from then on. So it really just depends on how you want to do it. But this is how you standardize your meet link. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. Thanks.